Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of Season 2 of One Time Releases. Today, we're going to take a look back at Junior Midnight Moon, the Piston Cup Racing Legend from Cars 3. Before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. <clears throat> Junior Midnight Moon is a 1944 standard coupe who happens to be one of the surviving racing legends from Thomasville, Georgia. He raced with the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet in the 50s used to bear the number 11 of an unknown sponsor in the Piston Cup and was inspired and voiced by the late Junior Johnson. During his appearance in Cars 3 in a week before the Florida 500 of the 2017 Piston Cup season at the Florida International Speedway, he, along with Louise Nash and River Scott, who I unfortunately don't have, were shown at a table inside the Cotter Pin Bar and Grill when Smokey, Lightning McQueen, Cruiser Ramirez, Luigi and Guido had entered. They then told them about the days their racing the days of old. Then later on they they, along with Luigi and Guido, you know, then started training uh, in near Tom out near Thomasville Speedway. Free lap races and dodging obstacles and race window sneaking with tractors and moonshining meaning that running in the night without any headlights not selling liquid products illegally Junior was then seen in at the Florida International Super Speedway for the Florida 500 of the 2017 Piston Cup season and 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 was then present when Cruiser Mirrors won the race he was then seen at Willie's Butte and then during the ending credits he along with Louise and River all received new paint jobs and flames from Ramon. He then later appeared in the Cars 3 Driven to Win as a playable character, unlockable, playable or unlockable character but with the number 11 instead of the flames. And during his diecast releases, he was released only one time as a single. I even got him from Trader's World months ago. And now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here you've got his happy facial expression, his weathered black exterior paintwork, 
his headlights and grill, which presents as a mustache. No tambos on the hood. The chrome silver gray bumper, front bumper, I meant. And on both sides, we got the his door and his white wall tires. And on the back, we've got his red taillights and the, the chrome silver gray back bumper, his trunk, and the license plate saying Moonshine. And on the undercarriage, it's, we have Disney slash Pixar, made in China, Mattel. And that is it. And now let's pull up some of the other Thomasville inhabitants. We have Louise Nash, Sweet Tea, and Xanadu, Xanadu Bumpers and Smokey and some more Ford vehicles we have Corey Turbowitz who is a 1997 Puma Lizzie who is a 1923 Model T Brent Mustang Burger who is a 1964 Mustang and a half Mario Andretti who is a 1967 Fairlane Duff Rex, who is a 2000 Ranger, and Van, who is a 2003 Windstar. And that, and the other Junior Moon variants, we have Hot Rod Junior Moon. Now the only Junior Moon variants that I don't have is the Heyday version. But what do you guys think? Which variant of Junior Moon is your favorite? Regular or Hot Rod? Which Thomasville inhabitant is your favorite? And which Ford vehicle is your favorite? And which car for the next episode of Season 2 of One Time Releases should I do next? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below and on the voting poll. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel and consider the support on change.org. I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye now!